X-Men, watch out. I am so sleepy, guys. We're mutants too. Bitch. Hey, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. Are they for real? Hi guys, hi Lab Rats, and welcome back to my channel, Lab Shenanigans. Today, I wanna to talk about something that I'm particularly embarrassed about, and that is what we call Asian Glow or Asian Flush, or also known as Alcohol Flush Reaction. Mr. Shenanigans, exactly what is that? That's a mother oh. good question. It's a phenomenon in which about 20 to 47 percent of East Asians show a physiological response to consuming alcohol. This includes an increased heart rate, nausea, headaches, and you guessed it, facial redness. So exactly like, why does this happen? Okay, so before I explain, I want to show you guys exactly what it looks like. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of alcohol, but in the name of science, I'm gonna get drink apple juice in front of you guys for you guys. I am over 21. I know I look like I'm like 12. I I know I look young. <laughs> I'm 25. So. I really hate apple juice, but the only apple juice that I can tolerate is, is a michelada. So that's what I'm gonna drink. This is the good juice, the michelada mix. Yeah! Skinny beep pop poop beep. This is good. I die. I'm so red. Ah! It's hot. I'm getting sleepy. Am I getting sleepy? No. Why am I so red? So why do I look like this? Me to my plastic surgeon. Why do I look like this? Why are my eyes puffy? Why am I? Why am I so? <sighs> okay. Ugh. All right, drunk Darian, let sober Darian take over. <laughs> so why do I look like this? After drinking this glass of michelada, the enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase in my body, or ADH, is breaking down ethanol to a molecule called acetaldehyde. In the presence of another enzyme called aldehyde dehydrogenase 2, or ALDH2, acetaldehyde is further broken down into acetate. Interestingly, my body has a mutation in the ALDH2 gene, which disrupts the protein structure of this enzyme essentially inactivating it. By lacking this enzyme, my body can't metabolize acetaldehyde. Okay, so let me get this straight. No, let me get this again. So if acetaldehyde can't be broken down, it accumulates, right? That's right. Acetaldehyde accumulates, and that's what causes the glow effect and other symptoms. It accumulates up to 10 times its normal concentration. Oh my god! That's a lot. Now, there are ways to mitigate the glow effect by taking antihistamines like Pepsid. In a recent study, a group claimed that applying a bromonidine gel, which is used to treat rosacea, can also lessen this red flush. The sample size is really small, so take that last piece of information with a grain of salt. Previous studies have also shown that there may be a potential link between Alzheimer's disease and ALDH2 deficiency. However, there is something that's already known. So us deficient people are six to 10 times more likely to develop esophageal cancer if we continue to drink heavily. So what's the best solution? To stop drinking completely? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's honestly my best answer. Yes. Stop drinking completely. <laughs> what? Y'all thought I was gonna say something else? I'm not a doctor. I don't know. I'm literally a research technician. The fuck I know. Y'all expect too much from me. But for real, when you're out partying with your friends... Y'all shouldn't even be partying. We're literally in the middle of a pandemic. But for real, when you're out partying with your friends, be cognizant with the amount of alcohol you're consuming. And also understand the risks that come with drinking too much alcohol. Alrighty, I hope you guys learned something today and thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, subscribe. I am so sleepy. Thank you so much and I will see you guys next time in lab.